time, the 17-year-old survivor is talking about it, and only to Cairo 7, who he's thankful for and who he credits with saving his life. Attacked on a only on Cairo 7, a legally blind finally burned in a car crash. Tonight, only on Cairo 7, he's telling his story for the first time from Harborview Medical Center, nice. letting us know what he's thankful for. Every evening, trying to get out, trying to get out, and then all of a sudden, boom, just catches on fire. Now, this teenager is talking only with Cairo 7 about the crash. There you go, Charles. And the person there you go. He's so very thankful oh, for. One month ago, the Rochester High student was on his way home from school when a semi truck crashed into his Jeep. Tonight, only on Cairo 7, he spoke with our Richard Thompson about his survival and recovery. Today, 17 year old Andy Summer is battered and badly burned, but very thankful to be alive after a horrific crash last month. You're I on just braced for impact and he nailed me and. I blacked out. And he regained consciousness a few seconds after a semi-truck rear-ended his Jeep on Highway 12. The truck pushed Andy's Jeep into oncoming traffic, and then it caught fire. So I'm trying to get out, trying to get out, and then all of a sudden, boom, just catches on fire. I'm like, oh. Andy says he owes his life to off-duty firefighter Travis Creer, who pulled him from the burning vehicle. Rips me out, takes my uh, sweatshirt off that's on fire, and, uh, just amazing. A month later, Andy is still at Harborview recovering from second and third degree burns. Just Monday, doctors at the Harborview Burn Center actually performed an operation to temporarily sew Andy's burned right hand into his belly. By tucking his fingers into that pocket, we're able to get some growth of healthy tissue. His family is now wearing Team Andy t-shirts, which are being sold in the community to raise money for growing medical bills. Despite the long and expensive road to recovery, both Andy and his father say they are very thankful today. Well, I'm thankful that my son's right here right now. That's, that's the bottom line. I'm very thankful for that. And he could end up having several more surgeries as his recovery continues. But if all goes well, he could be home for Christmas. Reporting in Seattle, I'm Richard Thompson, Cover 7, Eyewitness News.